I'm Anil Kumar. I've taken a few examples on linear systems. We'll consider the application of distance, speed, and time in these examples. The question here is, Joe traveled the 95 kilometer from Oakville to Oshawa by car and train. The car averaged 60 kilometers per hour and train averaged 90 kilometers per hour. The whole trip took 1.5 hours. How long was he in the car? That's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my solution. Distance, speed, and time problems. I like to use the relation, which we could show in kind of a triangle here. We know distance is speed into time, right? So we can say distance speed and time so from here distance is speed into time right so distance is product of speed and time to solve any problem relating these three we can actually make a table with distance speed and time so let us say here we have distance d speed s and time t. In the given question, distance is in kilometers. Let me write down the units. Speed is in kilometers per hour. Time should be in hours. Now, let's read the question once again. Joe traveled the 95 kilometer from Oakville to Oshawa by car and by train. So, number of ways in which this journey is performed is by car and train. So we'll write car here and then train. Correct. Now the information given to us is he traveled 95 kilometers from one place to the other. Total distance is 95. So in the distance, total distance is 95 we can write here. This is total. The car average 60 kilometers per hour. So for car, speed is 60 kilometers per hour. And the train average 90 kilometers per hour. That's the speed. The whole trip took 1.5 hours. So total for time is 1.5 hours. How long was he in the car? So you have to find the time when Joe was in the car. Now in distance speed, time formula you'll see distance is product of speed and time so it's good practice to always take time as one of the unknown variable so let this be x so let it be x hours in car and y hours in train correct so that is the variable defined now if time traveled for car is x then distance will be 60 times x right 60x since distance is speed into time right so we have distance equals to speed times time correct so distance is speed into time for train the distance should be 90y now from here you get two equations total time x plus y is 1.5 The second equation is sum of distances is 95, right? So it is 60x plus 90y equals to 95. Do you see that? So we get two equations from this. One is this one. When you add these two, you get 1.5. And when you add distances, you get 95 kilometers. So we get these two equations, right? Let me call them as equation one and equation two. We have two variables. I should have written y. I don't know why I wrote five, x plus y. We have two equations and two variables. So you can always solve for both these variables. Now, since we need, how long was he in the car? We need to find x. So let us replace x y with x right so from the first equation i can write y equals to 
1.5 minus x. I get my equation number 3. Now we'll sub this value of y, that is sub 3, in equation 2, correct? That's what we are going to do. So if I substitute 1.5 minus x as y here, I get 60x plus 90 times 1.5 minus x equals to 95. Open the bracket, 60x plus, so we can multiply 90 by 1.5, you can use a calculator. 9 times 5 is 45, 4. 9 times 1, 9 plus 4 is 13. Minus 90x equals to 95, correct? Now, we can solve 60 minus 90 is minus 30x equal to 95 minus 135 which is minus when you take away this is number is bigger negative number 5 take away 5 is 0 13 take away 9 is 4 so we get 40 and therefore x is equals to minus 40 over minus 30 correct and that is minus 4 over 3 right so that much of the time in hours Joe traveled in the car correct so that is how we can actually find the answer so minus minus becomes positive sorry minus minus becomes positive time has to be positive right so 4 over 3 of an hour, right? So, so this time traveled in car is 4 over 3 of an hour. So that means 1 hour and how many minutes? 1 third of an hour, which is 60 over 3 minutes. Is it okay? So it is 1 hour and 20 minutes so from here you can find that you travel for 1 hour 20 minutes in the car correct so that is how you could actually solve such questions I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps thank you and all the best